What's up, gang? Welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV, where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. Okay. It's your girl, Janina, here, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, I wanted to test out the new NYX Marshmallow Primer, okay, because I have been in the market for a hydrating primer. I'm also going to do a wear test of it because I do have some things to do just around the house. I'm not really going out or anything, but I am going to wear it on my face because you guys know I love my mattifying foundations. And currently at the moment, because it's so cold, like it's so cold in Virginia where I'm at, that my oily skin has become kind of like combination oily and basically almost dry. And not only because of the weather, also because I'm using a new acne face wash and it's really, really drying out my face, y'all. Like, face is so dry and I just love my mattifying foundation so I need something hydrating under it. So that's why I decided to go for the NYX Marshmallow Primer because it's supposed to be hydrating and everything. Um, I also have to tell you guys why I am going to be testing out the um, marshmallow primer the mini version okay because i did order the full size version but i got into some drama with nyx cosmetics okay nyx played me y'all okay nyx played me so anyway we'll get into that when we get into the makeup okay run the footage girl okay you guys so this is the new nyx marshmallow primer now this is the mini version okay this is not a full size i did order the full size and we'll get into that but this is the mini version um it does have marshmallow extract or is it marshmallow root i don't know marshmallow root okay marshmallow extract is supposed to be really good for hydrating your skin and it has all kinds of like properties for hydration that's the reason why i decided to get this okay so little story time okay if you guys don't want to hear this story because i got some people in the comments last time i was talking like oh you talk too much girl okay i'm gonna time stamp um the application of the primer and everything else so you guys can see that if you want to skip this part okay but i'm gonna talk okay i'm gonna talk because nyx played me so the marshmallow primer was a pre-order situation okay so november 30th was Cyber Monday and NYX was having like a sale or whatever. So I decided to purchase the um, primer and as well as a brush. Now the primer was a pre-order situation. So you had to pre-order that. And then if you order anything else per usual, it will get shipped the same time as the primer, which was December 6th. So the primer was set to drop December 6th. So I ordered the primer and a high gloss brush because I've been wanting this high gloss primer brush forever. It was half off. Boom. Ordered it. Right. Boom. Okay. So maybe uh, I'd say December 6th was the day that the actual primer dropped. Right. So I'd say maybe like seven days after that. Okay. I got a shipping confirmation that everything shipped. Right. Uh, maybe four days after that, I ended up getting a package in the mail and it was a very small package and very light. And I was like, okay, girl, what's going on? Because my original order, I had ordered the full size marshmallow primer, the high gloss brush, and I got three mini gifts. I got like a, a pouch, the marshmallow mini primer and something else, girl, I don't know. So anyway, I tear open the package it's just my mini marshmallow primer, the free gift, which this was free. Okay, the free gift. So I'm like, what's going on? So I track, I retrack my package because it came with two tracking numbers. This is something I didn't know. It came with two tracking numbers. Okay, so NYX actually shipped what it said on the tracking was it shipped the items separately okay i don't know if that meant it, it shipped every single item separately like one two three four like separately or did they just partially ship things together but since i only got one free gift in the mail i'm pretty sure they are shipping things separately so anyway girl i'm like okay that's cool my other order is gonna come because it says partially ship okay it's nothing whatever so i continue to wait girl december 24th christmas eve didn't get anything and i keep tracking this thing from ups and it keeps saying shipping label created and that's it okay 
So I'm like, okay, so Christmas Eve, I decided to call Nick's. They were open on Christmas Eve. So I called them because I had emailed them the day before and didn't get any response. So I called them up, spoke to a very nice representative, and I was like, hey, you know, this is going on. What's up with my order? Nothing's, the tracking's not moving. Like, so she investigated it. She didn't know what was going on. <laughs> she didn't know why I just got the free mini version in the mail. So she said she was going to redo the order or I can get a refund. So I said, you know, I really wanted my brush and the full size primer. Let's redo the order. So free of charge, they redid the order. I got another confirmation in the mail for our order and she said to wait and I'll get another shipping confirmation. Okay, so it was Christmas Eve. I was so busy like getting all of my food together because I cook dinner for my whole family and stuff like that. So I was so busy. Christmas, we had the dinner and stuff. So um, the 26th Sunday, I got a shipping confirmation for this new order. And I was like, yay, you know, I'm excited. Finally, it's going to come, girl. So I decided to just check the shipping confirmation and make sure all of the orders, because you know, when you order something at the bottom of the order, it has a list of what you ordered and like a picture, you know. So I need to make sure I have five things on that order, okay? It needed to be my high gloss brush, my full size NYX marshmallow primer, and the three free gifts, okay? Whatever the three free gifts were. So check on that. There's only four things on the order and guess what I'm missing? Guess. The full size marshmallow primer, girl. <laughs> So I call up NYX because, you know, it already shipped out. So now they have to create a whole nother order. So I call NYX. They're not, they're not um, in the office. Okay. It was closed. Maybe I called too late of a day. I don't remember, girl. So the next day on Monday, I called them and I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. You guys shipped out this order and I'm still missing my full size primer. Like the full size primer is what I really want. Forget everything else. Okay. I just want the full size primer. So the lady that I had, she was very, very nice. I will say this about NYX, their customer service, each person I dealt with was very nice, okay? I don't know what's going on with the shipping department, but the customer service was nice. So the lady I spoke to, she's like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. Let me make sure it's not on back order and that we still have them in stock. And they did. And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to forward this to a specialist team. But did you know that we didn't charge you for the full size primer? Girl, th listen, this is what sent me. I said, what do you mean you didn't charge me for the full-size primer, girl? Like, what are you talking about? Because if you didn't charge me for the full-size primer, why in my original order, okay, in my original order, girl, it has a list of everything that I bought and the full-size primer is on there. The only one that the full-size primer was on here was this recent order that someone else did. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and then you guys shipped it out partially. You said that, or I got sent two shipping confirmations, unbeknownst to me, one for this mini primer and then one for all my other stuff. And that was supposed to be in there. So if that was the case, why, number one, did I get a list and it showed on the list of that I purchased it? And then number two, why did you send me a separate shipping confirmation? And the first person that I talked to did not say this. So like, what is really going on? So I checked my bank statement, girl, I paid full price for that brush and the um primer, okay? So I don't know what they're talking about, that they didn't get charged. Wells Fargo says something different, okay? So I told her, I said, listen, Am I going to get this primer or not? And she's like, yes, you know, it's our mistake. I don't know what's going on. They, you know, they never know what's going on, which is fine. They rectified the situation. Um, she's forwarded to like a specialist team or something, and they're supposed to redo the order. And then I'll supposedly get another shipping confirmation that my order has shipped. Okay, so I say this to you because, girl, I haven't ordered something from NYX in a very long time. NYX hasn't had anything like groundbreaking for me in a minute so this is something that I haven't you know that I normally wouldn't do with a makeup company go around and around and around like this but I really really want to get my hands on this marshmallow primer okay because like I said it's supposed to be hydrating and it's affordable girl so 
honestly, like I've had it up to here with Nick's. Okay, the customer service people are fine, but the shipping and the orders, whoever's in charge of that, like they need to get it together. And I just can't, I can't deal with this. So this is probably going to be my last purchase that I buy from Nick's. Okay, unless they have something completely groundbreaking or groundbreaking that I want to try a review. Okay, but this has been just a struggle trying to get to this primer okay so we are going to test this primer out with this mini version because that's all i got girl okay that's all i got if you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel um if i ever get the damn primer in the mail maybe i'll vlog about it and then i'll show you guys how the full size primer looks okay so anyway getting into this tutorial girl so I already have my eyes done and everything. I kind of want to stick to like a um, cool tone theme, but I also want to just hone in on this primer because that's the like focus of this video. So let's get into this primer. Um, I can't give you guys the deets because like I said, there's nothing on this little mini primer. So I'm just going to apply it and I'm going to do a wear test. Okay. And we're going to do some makeup. Okay. So let go. So right off the bat, it is very thick as you can see. Okay. It's not coming off my finger at all. It has like, I don't know, I guess like a light pink. Can't see with all these lights in my eyes, girl. It's like a light pink, um, color and... It smells really, really good. It, it actually smells like marshmallow, okay? So I'm just gonna apply, I don't know how much I need. Ooh, and it's thick. Girl, it's it's really thick. So, um, oh, but you know what? It spreads out very nicely. So, ooh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it, it honestly smells like a marshmallow. Um. Also, this primer came with a um, brush as well. It looked like a little marshmallow. It looked like a beauty blender that shaped like a marshmallow and it was like pink, but I didn't get that because I feel like I don't need that because I did purchase another primer brush, but you know, we didn't get that either, girl. So my face feels like it's been hydrated, but not too like sticky or anything. Um, I really, really like the smell of it. It smells really, really good. And, um, my face is not, it's not like, mm, it's a little tacky, but not tacky, but my face feels smooth. Okay. And, um, I thought the color would be like blurring, but I guess it's not blurring because I feel like my face looks the same, but I would have thought because of the color, it would have been like a blurring thing, you know? So anyway, for foundation, I am going to use my Huda Beauty Original Faux Filter. And you guys know I mix, so I have two colors. And I'll probably just speed this process up doing my makeup. Um, because I like to like show you guys on camera how I do my makeup after I apply a primer, especially if I get a new primer, just so we can see if it plays well with my other stuff. But I'll probably speed this part up, okay, doing my makeup. going over my concealer here with um the brush I used to use or uh, to put my foundation on just to kind of like blend out any like harsh lines and I'm gonna go ahead and set it real quick with my um Sasha Buttercup in the color light my favorite favorite powder and we're gonna bake this a little bit because I do want this to be like a matte look. Ooh, I'll be going in on the powder, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna contour. I'm not gonna so much bronze because like I said, I'm trying to stick to like 
a cool tone theme i just felt like being cool tone today i don't know it's like a cold day and i was just in the mood for a cool tone so i'm gonna use the um nyx uh sculpting here what is it called nyx highlight and contour pro palette um it has a really nice um contour shade and it's like kind of um cool tone this shade right here and i think i talked about this in one of my videos i think it was the um uh i did a review on the uh melt cosmetic sculpt stack they had a um they had a shade in there that was similar to this shade uh i forgot what it was but it was a cool tone like brown and i swear you guys that's the only reason why i decided to keep that stack because if you guys saw that um video i wasn't so much a fan of the stack because it was just confusing me or it was it like i don't know the shades confused me and everything so girl <laughs> I don't know, but I kept that stack because of that color because I feel like in contour and highlighting palettes, they leave off of a color like a cool tone brown. It's either like a really dark, warm tone brown for bronzing or like, no, I mean um a warm tone brown for bronzing or like a really dark brown. It, there's nothing like in between with a cool tone. And so that's the only reason why... I kept that palette y'all because um or that uh stack because I wasn't really feeling that stack like that and so now I feel like I have a cream version of this color which is good okay because I really like these cool tone um browns I feel like we got more of these cool tone browns back in the day like maybe like early maybe like early um no, I don't know. I wouldn't say early 2000s. I would say like late 2000s, like um, maybe like 2016, maybe like even 2014 or something. Because I feel like that's when I started getting into makeup, like around 2013, 14. And um, I could have sworn that I found more cool tone because even Anastasia and Beverly Hills, I felt like they came out with a nice cool tone brown color i still have their palette i should check i'm going a little darker towards the um uh my hairline so it's a little it's going to be a little darker and then i kind of um flick it upward and then kind of sheer it out when it gets more down here because so i feel like it just gives me more definition when it's kind of like darker up here i don't know if you guys can see but it's like darker i usually start here and make this part darker and then just kind of sheer it out over here. I am contouring my nose with a smaller brush with the same color. And I'm gonna like set it a little bit. I know I'm already powdery. Oh my God, I'm already like mattifying. <laughs> but I still wanna set it with a little bit of powder because I need this to kind of last me, even though I'm pretty sure it will, girl because like I said my skin has been dry so hopefully the um marshmallow primer does what it's supposed to do um so I'm just taking my Too Faced Born This oh, Born This Way powder if I don't like dang I put too much that's what I get for doing too much okay too much t-e-w too much so I'm just taking a little bit of that powder and I'm just gonna set my whole face because this is what I would normally do. <coughs> I'm also gonna use a blush, you guys, that I haven't used, and I've had this blush forever. Um, I don't think it's a cool tone blush, though. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Cheek to Cheek, and it's the um, darkest color, Intense. And this is how it looks here. And I've been wanting to use this, but I don't know, I'm not sure, girl. Like, look how it looks. Like in the inside, it's like a pink, and on the outside, it's kind of like a um, plummy color. So I don't know. I feel like it's gonna look. Um, I don't know, girl. Let's just try it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we'll just swirl it and go. Okay. 
I mean, it doesn't stick to our little cool tone theme, but it's okay. Okay, it's giving me a little, um, it's giving me a little life here. I'll probably stick with the outside of it, the darker part on the outside, and not so much the pink, the little pinkiness. So let's stick to the darker color on the outside. Because I like how that's the darker color is kind of vibing with my um, cool tone look. Last but not least, I want to put a lippy on. I don't know which one I want to do. I don't know if I want to do a super dark brown. Um, I have tons of browns, but these are the two that I like thought I was going to use. So this one is from Color Rain. It's like a really dark chocolatey brown. And this one is from Lime Crime. And it's like a cool tone brown. And it's, um, this is in the shade Cougar. This is like one of my favorite cool tones. I might just stick with this one because I feel like this one is just going to be a little bit too dark for this look. So let's stick with Cougar here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to finish off with a little bit of spray. I'm going to use Huda Beauty's, um, what is this called? Resting Boss Face Girl. The infamous boss face with the smell. This is my completed look. Um, I am going to do a wear test. So I'm filming on my phone right now. So I can't show you the time. But it is 2.20 p.m. Okay. It's 2.20 p.m. And I don't know. Okay. So here's the thing about a wear test with a hydrating primer. Like I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess I'm just looking for. Because um, normally with a mattifying primer. You would look for your makeup to last. And your oils won't break through so fast. Right. So with a hydrating primer. I feel like. I don't know. As a person who just has dry skin. Around the winter. And um, because of this acne face wash. I feel like I'm just going to be looking for. Um, if it. Not so much controls my oils, but if it just keeps my face fresh and just keeps it from not feeling so tight underneath my makeup because it's already dry, which it's working so far. Okay, so right now I feel like um, even though my makeup doesn't look like that because I put a bunch of powder and then I sprayed it down and everything, um, I feel like that my makeup is already lived in. Because normally, like right now, like I said, because my skin is dry and I put another mattifying um, foundation and concealer and powder on top, it would make my skin feel very, very like tight and, and just like double dry. Because you know how you're putting like dryness on top of dry. I don't feel like that. I actually feel like my face feels good. Now, will this primer control my oil? If my oils decide to break through, probably not. So I'm just doing a wear test on this just to see if like my dry face is not so dry. And it just gives me that lived in feeling and so far it is. Okay, so the purpose of this wear test, I guess, is to just see how this primer turns out and if it's going to work to hydrate my skin for now. Okay, for now that it's winter and that I'm using this face wash that's making my skin dry okay i don't know i don't know girl okay i'm kind of struggling with what the purpose of this wear test would be so anyway like i said it's about 220 you guys so i will come back to you guys maybe like within i try to do like five six hours um i'm gonna be like filming some other things because like i have to like put out these vlogs i've been telling y'all i'm gonna put out vlogs and i haven't put out not one vlog but i have all of this footage and stuff and i still have more unboxings and stuff to do like so i'm gonna be doing that and i'm just gonna be around the house i'm not gonna be out or anything so i can't tell you like what it's gonna be like outside elements okay so anyway i will probably do one chicken with you guys when it gets kind of late and that's it i will see you guys at the finish line okay hey you guys so this is my one and only check-in. I feel like I don't need to do a whole bunch of check-ins. Uh, uh, I have this puppy whoopy here. So he's like biting me and stuff. Look at him, girl. He just, look at his big ass. He's doing a lot. Anyway, so um, I'm on the floor playing with him. You guys know I wasn't really doing anything. Wasn't really going anywhere. So um, right now it is, what time is it? 5 15 so it's been what two three four five it's been three hours so far okay so i feel like i don't need to check in anymore this is it stop um but 
the makeup is looking good um but we didn't okay so this is a hydrating primer so i guess what i'm testing out is like i said just the fact that it gives me that live-in feeling and prevents that like dryness on my face so there's nothing flaking i don't know if you guys can see because um because it's so dry normally i get flaking here on the sides of my nose so there's nothing flaking i haven't like touched up or did anything stop i haven't touched up or did anything to the face or like um put any more powder or anything else on there so this is just how it's looking and it does feel moisturized and like i said there's no flaking or dryness or anything there's no dryness under my eyes or anything because that's what's been happening to me lately putting on my mattifying um foundations because my face was just so dry and even my water jelly primers you guys like that I really really like weren't weren't really touching the dryness okay so I'm really really glad that I found this um primer to help with the dryness for now so anyway yeah right now makeup is still looking good okay so I'm still gonna come back to you guys with my final thoughts on this primer okay see you later what's up guys so it's the end of my day here okay so we've had this makeup and this primer on what time is it seven oh it's seven o'clock on the dot i make my job it's like no. <laughs> yeah. so it is 7 33 okay so we have had this primer and this makeup on for like roughly five and a half hours okay i thought i was gonna do six to seven or something but Girl, I'm ready to take a bath and do what I do, okay? I'm, I'm ready to lay it down. So, it's been roughly five hours. Now, for a hydrating primer, I remember I was saying that it was going to be hard for me to kind of um, do a wear test and, and, like, tell you guys the points that I'm looking for. So, right now, let's, let's look at my makeup. So, right now, my makeup does look lived in. Okay, because it's been a few hours, but I feel like it's not oily. I feel like my nose is getting a little shiny, but nothing's transferring off my nose. Um, so this primer being a hydrating primer, what normally happens to my makeup when my face is dry because of cold weather or whatever, when I put on mattifying foundations or mattifying concealers, I get like flakiness under my eye flakiness like in between my nose here and I don't have any of that okay because this primer was perfect even when I use the water jelly because I really like the milk makeup hydro grip and then Huda Beauty's um, water jelly primer um I really like those but for dry skin those aren't really doing it for me I felt like I needed something more thicker um even my Bobbi Brown uh face base wasn't really um counteracting the dryness i think so i really like how this primer was thick and it went on smooth it smelled really really good like marshmallows and whatever extract i don't know if it's marshmallow extract or marshmallow root or however you say it whatever they have in this stuff okay it totally worked with the dryness on my face my face doesn't feel tight it doesn't feel uncomfortable i can still wear my mattifying foundation and everything is okay and my makeup looks great okay it doesn't it doesn't look all dry i haven't touched it up or anything the only thing i touched up was um my lipstick because i've been eating and drinking and stuff like that but the makeup still looks good it's put together um it doesn't like this primer it didn't say anything about making your makeup last or um preventing your makeup from breaking down like it didn't have any type of claims like that it was just a hydrating primer that's good for your skin and i feel like it it did that i feel like it worked for me um i feel like it's worth the wait okay because you guys know the situation with my full size nyx marshmallow primer so i feel like it's worth the wait okay i feel like this primer is definitely worth the wait and it's definitely affordable Okay, so I'll go ahead and wait for my full size, but I'm still watching Nick's. I'm still watching them, and I'm still, even though I'm still mad at them for doing me like that, okay, 
I will say this primer is a good primer and I like it. I really like this primer, okay? So if I run out, I might be repurchasing it, okay? I might be repurchasing it. Hopefully, I don't have the same situation happen to me, but I do like this primer. So if you guys were wondering about trying this primer, go ahead. It did come with a brush as well, but I didn't buy the brush, girl. It just looks like a beauty blender to me. I like to apply my primers with my hands unless it's the... um. Tatcha silk canvas I'll use like a brush with that but I'm I'm a, like you know I like to put my primer on with my hands so I didn't purchase the brush but do I think this is a really good buy yes I do so if you guys like this video subscribe to the channel give me a big fat like okay and when you subscribe girl make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time the gang posts a video okay every time girl I also have a vlog channel called Janina Filipina Vlogs. I am going to be posting vlogs on there very soon. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. And I have tons of vlogs. It's just the editing. The editing is a lot. It's just a lot to edit and do everything yourself, girl. It's like I'm like a one-woman show. I'm doing everything on my own, okay? So bear with me, but subscribe to the Janina Filipina Vlogs channel. I will put a, a link down in the description box below and probably a link um, up in the cards up here or up here so you guys can subscribe to that channel because I will be putting out some vlogs for you guys so anyway you guys I will talk to you in my next video bye bye